We got us a Walking Liberty Ender. My first find since I come over to Bottom Feed with Scott. Looks like we got us a big old dandy button. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah. Got us a Benji. Thinking we got some silver here. Oh no, it's not. We have us a walker. We got us a cat bust. I can't make out a year or anything yet. That is awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio and we are back for a shout out and mail call number six. Got a few packages in the mail. I also got a few people I want to give a shout out to uh, that I have been watching who I think uh, need a little more love from the community. Um, got great content, great videos, great finds, and uh, I want to share them with you if you don't know about them. So first off, we're going to start off with our mail calls. So this package here I just received from Rick Lewis. Uh, he was in my previous mail call. We swapped a couple boxes of pennies. I had a Washington box that I hunted for my uh, penny hunt and fill video. And this is what he sent me. We worked out a trade. Um, I will be sending some back his way as soon as I see a box. But I have 10 rolls of quarters. And we have the 2022 quarter design. There's the front. Got 10 rolls from the Denver Mint, which I usually don't see. So I'm very, very excited to have those. Awesome. Got the uh, Maya Angelo design. So that's pretty cool. Got 10 rolls that he sent me. Uh, we will be getting the package his way as soon as I get a box of Philly ones, which I'm assuming will happen, happen anytime because it never fails. I get a ton of those boxes once they start coming out. And the second one. This is a pile of giveaway wins from uh, One Roll at a Time's channel. I watch a lot of his live streams, and I've done pretty well on giveaways uh, the last few. So these are some things that uh, Bullion Baby, check out his channel. I've mentioned him before. And Dan R., which is also a new channel, hunts a ton of half dollars and other coins. And he has been killing half dollars the last year or two. Um, so definitely a great channel. So we'll go ahead and get this stuff out of this box that I that I won quite a bit actually. So I got a bullion baby sticker. Him and Dan R have been helping uh, one roll at a time do his giveaways, which is very very awesome of them. So first thing, I may go through and do a video on this. This is a big bag full of old or older Jeffersons. That I may hunt for a video, which is awesome. I love my nickels. Um, love my nickel hunts. And these were another giveaway. I believe this is two rolls of NIFCs. I'll open these up, check these out, see if I need any for my albums, which would be awesome if I find those. And most of you know, I also like my wheat pennies. So there is another giveaway. Two bags. Dan R supplied these of wheat pennies. I will also probably go through and do a hunt with these. Check for errors. See if we got anything cool in here. And another one here. I believe this was five Ike dollars. I haven't opened them up yet, but I like my Ikes as well. I buy them whenever I find them, silver or not. And Bullion Baby being the guy that he is. Uh, awesome guy really really awesome guy if you've not checked out his channel you need to these were a couple bonuses he throws he threw in uh, he's just that kind of guy that does that so got a 1916 france one franc 0.835 percent silver which is awesome and a 1943 australia one florin 925 silver so I like my foreign silvers. I've actually been trying to buy some of some of these from one of my local coin dealers here. He's trying to hang on to some for me. So awesome, Bullion Baby. I appreciate the extras. Appreciate you and Dan R for supplying these giveaways. Very, very nice of you. Um, happy to have them and add them to my collection. 
All right, and the last one, another one. I, he was, and I talked about him in my last giveaway video. Liberty Coins. He is an awesome guy. Finally got over a thousand subs, which is well deserved. Does a lot of half dollar hunts, a lot of great videos. Um, sends a lot of stuff to people, helps people out wherever he can, and I appreciate people in the community that do that. So I know in my last video that was kind of my push to help get him to a thousand. Um, he did make it. I don't know that it necessarily had anything to do with me, but I was happy to see him do it. So I did get a note from him. Um, I'm not going to get into what the note said, but he bought these, I believe, in a collection. Um, I don't know if it was through his tellers. I can't remember exactly. I'd have to look back at the note, I guess. Um, but I love my nickels as well as my wheat pennies. And he sent me all these nickels out of a collection, which is awesome. You got a beautiful 1968S. Great shape. Another really, really nice 1968D. Being in these flips almost don't do them justice. This is a 1939 Philly. I have to check that for the DDO. 1960D. This says bar over the E in Liberty and over O on the date. I'll have to look into that and see what's going on with it. It's not something I've heard of, but I am happy to have it. That is a 1969. I believe that is a Denver, which is awesome. There's another 1969S, which is really, really nice. Some great nickels in this box, or in this little package that he sent me. So here we have a 1950. That is a Philly which I believe is a semi-key date. There's another 1950. I believe that one is also out of Philly. Very, very nice of him to send these. He knows how much I like my nickels, so. There's yet another 1950 out of Philly. Got another 1939 that I will have to check for the DDO or DDR. I'm sorry. Another really nice 1970D. Got a nice 1953. All these are in really great shape. This one is a 1971 out of Denver. Also beautiful coin. It's like brand new. I will have to check these for steps. If you're not aware, 70s nickels in high grade or with full steps, they're worth quite a bit. They're not that easy to find. So I definitely would keep an eye on those. And another 1971D. And this is a 1939S. This is a key date nickel. This one's not near mint condition, but these aren't easy to find either. And I am happy to have that for my collection. And another 1971D. But the thing that blew my mind when I opened this package, I still almost can't believe it. There was two of these. Two 1950Ds. And these are very hard to find. And they are in beautiful condition. Very, very close to full steps, but not quite. There's a slight bit of wear on the very bottom step. And then this is the second one. This one's even nicer than the last one. They are beautiful. This will be the second and third one I'll add to my collection. I found one in a video a while back, which is out there if nobody's seen it. It was in a box, so that is awesome. I really, really appreciate him doing that. I love, love, love my nickels. I got a ton of nickels. I got a ton of wheat pennies, um, and I collect every one of them that I can find. So, All right, give me just a second here. I'm going to get you guys flipped around, get into the shout-outs that I wanted to do. See you in a second. All right, we are back for some shout outs. First one, KS Design 14 Adventures. Um, I've been checking out a lot of his videos. I started watching him probably maybe nine months ago. Um, does a lot of great videos. Um, I definitely would check some out. It's got some great nickel hunts, great half dollar hunts. Um, 
very, very good of him to uh, do the videos that he's doing. He does a great job. Appreciate him and uh, videos that he puts out. Currently at 200 subs. Let's give him a push. Try to get him to 250. That would be pretty cool. Um, I would appreciate you guys. if Check out his channel. If you like what you see, definitely hit that subscribe button. And he will appreciate it as well as me. All right, next one. This one's actually a recent subscriber to my channel. I've just started watching some of his videos, but I really like what I see so far. Um, I'm telling you, I think you really need to check him out if you have not heard of him. Emmanuel's Workbench seems to be doing a great job. I'm excited to watch some more of his videos. So, he's at 353 subs. Let's try to push him to 400. Um, he definitely deserves to be there from what I'm seeing. So, I appreciate everybody checking out his channel. If you like what you see again, Give him some love, hit that subscribe button, let's get him to 400. Third one, or fourth, yeah, third one, um, Augie Contreras, he watches and comments on almost all my videos. He's active on tons of channels, has a channel of his own, um, is doing a great job. I've watched a few videos, I got a lot more I want to catch up on, but check him out. He's at 181 subscribers. I'd love to see him get to 200. Um, another guy that definitely deserves it. Give him the love of the community. Hit that subscribe button, and let's get these three guys to the next level. Um, they definitely deserve it. So I appreciate everybody watching. If you're still with me, it's kind of a long video for a mail call, but I just want everybody to know I appreciate all of you, everybody that subscribes to my channel, everybody that watches my videos. I appreciate everybody in the community, and this is my way of trying to do something for other people in the community, try to help get their channels noticed, get them subscribers, and... Uh, get you some good content to watch. So appreciate it. Thanks everybody for coming along. We will see you on the next video. I can see the sweet sun pouring down